Hey homies, going to the city today and going to vlog it for you all. I've done this a couple times, but I never actually made the video and posted it. So hopefully this one makes it, but come with me. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're gonna go take some trains, maybe get some cookies, maybe go to a museum and see what else is out there. Also, I heard some British people on the platform. It's always fun to hear that wherever you are. Stop though. A pee break. They really made Penn Station awesome, which I hate to say because one part of being a New York hater is to hate on Penn Station and LaGuardia Airport, and both of them are actually really nice now. So, sorry. Here we are, New York City. Used to be a building there, the Pennsylvania Hotel, which they're replacing with Pen 15, which is crazy because uh, if you guys know what Pen 15 is, if you were in middle school in the 90s, you would know, and it's really hilarious. Maybe I can pop a picture of it on screen, but really good stuff in New York. It's really amazing, perfect weather today. Apple Watch says 75, which is the best temperature. Can't ask for anything more. Love it when there's a huge hole in New York City, like something's missing here. It's always when they're doing some kind of mecha construction, but like this is half the avenue. It's an absolute massive spot. Delivery biker gangs. Taking a quick charger break. One thing I hate is having things in my backpack that I don't need, and I always do. Like, I do not need this travel charger in my backpack right now. Just carrying it around. I guess it's exercise. Just uh, did a pit stop here at Blue Bottle. I didn't buy anything, but I know they have a good place to sit and a place to charge my phone and a little bit of work. Posted a mid century modern house in Utah. Pretty nice one, pretty cheap, under a million bucks which is cheap these days, but now we're gonna head out and about. Let's go. Uh, one more pee break. Hey homies, we're gonna try, it's supposed to be one of the best black and white cookies in New York City. Got it from this place, William Greenberg. Uh, let's try it. side first. Pretty good. Fluffy. Not as chalky as usual.
most of them, both sides usually taste about the same. It's better than a normal black and white cookie. Not like extraordinary, but not terrible either. Well, I would definitely recommend checking it out on the upper west side. I'm on 74th and maybe Broadway. I don't know. I don't know anything. Let me finish it. I got a blue bottle. It's right next door to wash it down. Up next, we're gonna go to the natural use. Um, up next, we're gonna go to the Museum of Natural History here. Let's go. I also got an almond croissant, which is my absolute favorite dessert of all time, but I'm saving that for tomorrow. Kind of into this building. To be able to chill in one of these windows would be heaven, honestly. Truly heaven, actually. Just stop that bus for that old lady to get on. I could deed of the day. I must admit that I thought I was by the Natural Mu Museum of History, the Natural History Museum. And I was on 75th Street, but apparently it's not on 75th Street. So I gotta keep walking. I was way off. Seems like you need to make reservations to go inside. Fortunately, there's an opening in five minutes. I guess it's kind of free for New York residents. You just pay what you wish to pay. I'm not gonna tell you guys what I paid. That's my own business, but we're excited to go in here. And if you look to the back behind me, there's some pretty cool buildings, famous ones. Some of these are super hated. Um, I think one of them is that Central Park South Tower um, that, that moves around. Uh, not so fun. Maybe it's this one right there. But pretty cool view from up here. And we're gonna go in soon. Let's get ready. It's two minutes till, but I'm just gonna go inside anyways. Don't say it. That entry is now full, so they told me I gotta go from the side. I guess in retrospect, I'm not going in early because I gotta go all the way around. So, joke's on me. I'm in, where are we gonna go? Where should we go? What exhibit should we see? It's pretty big, so it's gonna be hard to see it all. And also, <coughs> let me just gather myself for a second. I'm sure you're wondering why I have so much hair growing it out. I haven't not cut it like this in like five or six years. So I'm just seeing how it is, not so bad. Not as gray as I thought. Actually, I think I know where I gotta go. I gotta go see the dinosaurs. And also have to remember to look at the camera. Remind me. Big nerd energy here. Oh my gosh, I'm literally freaking out right now. Let me show the picture. There's the picture. I just met Zach King. He's the best YouTuber. I don't really follow a lot of YouTubers. 
and but he's one of them and he's so good and I just happened to see him you know when you hear a voice and you're like I know that voice and then you look and it's someone famous that's exactly what just happened pretty cool I don't know why but I love this guy so much look at his little yarmulke probably indestructible millions of years of evolution so nothing could touch him no t-rexes just living his life and hanging out for eternity this looked like someone was like hey do a scary pose and then he did a scary pose <laughs> When I see big mastodons and other animals like this, let me look at the camera. When I see big mastodons and other animals like this, I always wish that we had them today, but miniature versions, how cool would it be to have a little tiny cutie mastodon like Corgi style just running around your house? It would be awesome. more about seeing Zach King. I just love it when like you never know where your life is gonna take you. Like I went the wrong way to go to the museum, but if I didn't go the wrong way to go to the museum, I wouldn't have been there at that exact moment. And if I wouldn't have been there at that exact moment, I wouldn't have met him, but I did. And everything always just works out. And I really believe that too, that everything is always for the best. One thing in life is certain, at the end of every museum exhibit, there's a gift shop. When I'm a billionaire and I donate a museum wing, it's going to be dedicated to short kings and their history and their awesomeness because we are awesome actually. No thanks. I think I'm gonna keep it simple and just stick to the dinosaurs today and come back another time for more of the museum. Hope you all liked my museum tour. Maybe I should start doing guided tours at the museum. How would you all feel about that? Um, there's so much to do here though that I feel like I do need to come back for that. Gonna make a quick trip to the Asian animals section to see if there's anything Iran related. If we're in Asia, I'm not sure. These old sections of the museum are so, I hate to say it, boring, but they're very quiet and they need to be renovated. They're just, they've got old floors, just very dark and dull. I thought it was in a dead end and lost, but somehow I ended through the right path that I was looking for, which is another good metaphor for life, that sometimes you think you're going the wrong way, but you're just going on a detour and eventually you'll get there. Looks like this is an exit, which I didn't know about, so I'm just gonna take it.
You ever feel like you just need to get out of somewhere, but you can't, like at the mall? That's how I felt stuck in MAs in there, but that's it for the tour. I'm not sure what else we could do in the city today, but I hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tours. Where should I go next? If it's around New York City, that's a good suggestion. I could make it happen quickly, but hopefully in the future I could just travel wherever and we could go travel the world together. Now I need to figure where the H am I. Let's see, Columbus and 79th. Uh, am I in the back of the museum? I don't know. I'm so scared and I'm lost. Let's see if we could find a subway and get out of the city. There's something super special about being in New York City on the Upper West Side in the middle of the day. It's really the best case scenario of life to just be up here with nothing to do, even though I did have something to do. I had to go to that museum for us. But it's really just a vibe up here. Really, really goals, life, vibe, vibe, maximum chill, all of the above. In seventh grade, I went to Lucerne, Switzerland, so it's cool to see that here. Just saw someone jump to turnstile, super cool, real smooth, and then the guy that's working the booth was not happy about it, but what can you do, it happens. That's it for our travel vlog, number one, first one. Thank you all for joining me and I'll see you all next vlog. Um, again, let me know where I should go next time. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all somewhere again soon. Happy to have me and would I do this again? Yeah, probably. <laughs>